I'm gonna say something you probably won't like. Blaming Brexit for the UK's problems is like a man in a midlife crisis blaming his ex-wife for everything that's gone wrong in his life. Sure, she might have messed you up a little bit, but that doesn't mean that the problems weren't there before. And it certainly doesn't mean that the problems aren't still there. This is what Brexit is to the UK. But there's one thing that both sides of the argument, both Remain and Leave, fail to talk about. One of the main arguments for Brexit was the ability to control our own affairs, including the economy. But the reality is, we haven't had control over most of our economy for over 40 years. That's right, when Thatcher decided to sell off £60 billion of our assets, she gave away control of our economy to billionaires here and elsewhere. Britain's remaining public services that Thatcher didn't sell were left to rot and have been severely underfunded for the last 40 years. Yeah, so what? I hear the Tories ask. The selling of essential services such as rail and energy meant that a signal was sent to the British people. Profit is considered more valuable than your quality of life. And this has marked a downturn in the overall quality of life of the average British person. Along with this, Britain has long been the home of wealth inequality. The top 10% of earners in the UK own over 50% of the wealth. This means that whilst millions live in poverty, a select few are running the economic structures of the UK, benefiting significantly. But none of this is new. Has Brexit worsened the economy? Of course, of course it has. It's estimated that it's cost 40 billion pounds a year since we've left Brexit to pay for the money missing from our economy. But is it the reason why people are suffering now? The reality is the core problems of this country have existed before Brexit, but have been exacerbated since. So let me know what you think. If you want to know the real reason why Nigel Farage is so popular, check out my video on what we can learn from the Brexit referendum.